The search continues this evening for a missing five-year-old in northern New Mexico after an Amber Alert last night. The Rio Riva County Sheriff, FBI, and other agencies are looking for Renesme Calzada and say one person is in custody, possibly in relation to her disappearance. News 13's Chris McKee is live in Española with the latest. Jessica and Dean, the FBI and sheriff are both focusing part of their efforts in this investigation in a neighborhood here at the end of a cul-de-sac where Renesmee's home is and where she was last seen yesterday morning. Now that was Sunday morning. The sheriff's office says she was last seen around 9 a.m. in her front yard. Her mother called 911 to report her missing hours later around 6 in the evening Sunday. The Amber Alert was sent out after 10 p.m. Investigators haven't said why there was a time delay between her going missing and that 911 call, but they do not believe that Renesme was taken by any of her parents or other family members at this point. From Sky News 13, volunteers could be seen searching the area behind the Española Valley High School today. Authorities believe the little girl's life is in danger, but they wouldn't reveal any evidence that they may have that could suggest what may have happened to her. Asking for anyone who has any information about perhaps what they saw, what they heard in the last 24 hours that might provide us clues as to her location. Mesme was last seen wearing a Disney Frozen t-shirt and blue Star Wars shorts. She is five years old and weighs about 30 to 40 pounds, 35 to 40 pounds, and was last seen near McCurdy Road in Española. Now, the sheriff also said today that they have arrested a man with outstanding warrants in Bernalillo County and say that he may be connected to the girl's disappearance, but investigators have not said exactly how he may be con connected, and that man has also not been identified. Back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. Investigators are hoping someone in the area has surveillance video. They can provide some clues. They do say no one reported seeing anyone approach the girl yesterday. We'll continue to follow the latest on the search tonight at 10 on our sister station, CBS. You can also find more on our website, krqe.com and the KRQE News app.